Traditional embedded software development has in the past required physical access to embedded hardware boards, either on an engineer's desk or across the network in a shared access board lab setting. Software engineers would write code on development hosts and use cross-compilers to create executables to be tested and debugged on embedded hardware. These embedded hardware boards were often expensive and unreliable prototypes requiring power cycling to recover from faults. Recently, manufacturers have made available more robust and finished embedded hardware at lower prices and many of the more capable boards now ship with a version of Linux. Some of these embedded hardware boards have also simplified the development infrastructure required, consolidating or eliminating many parts of the setup, all the way down to boards requiring only a single cable to the development host. To further simplify and drive down development costs requires getting rid of the embedded hardware board altogether. Development hosts are now powerful enough to run sophisticated embedded hardware simulators at speeds fast enough to be useful. Hardware simulators are simply a piece of software, a program that does a very good job of pretending to be a piece of hardware. The simulator runs on the development host and provides the illusion of real hardware without the cost or infrastructure required. Coinciding with the fall 2013 release of our Sorcery Codebench development tools, Mentor Graphics is making available a dual-core ARM Cortex A9 virtual prototype simulator, complete with a Mentor-embedded Linux kernel and user space. The simulator allows embedded software developers to get work done without any of the usual embedded hardware infrastructure overhead. To learn more about Mentor Graphics' suite of embedded software tools, platforms, and services, visit mentor.com embedded.